Previously with Peyton. Please don't say my name and let nobody know that I'm talking to you because. Ow! Baby, I remember the way. Girl, that made me not even want to get feelings ever again. It smell like menstrual in this car. Why it smell like menstrual in this car? Okay, well, it wasn't sold out when I put it in the cart and paid for it. So I'm like, give me my money back. Yeah, I be in front of this computer on go doing three things at once. I'm I'm even thinking about writing a screenplay. Hey. Hey. Child, can we talk? Can we talk? Oh, oh, it's a mosquito in here. Oh, I got it. Damn. I cannot wait. Like, I'm looking at videos right now, and I'm like, yo. Yo. Like, y'all about to see a difference in the quality. Be sure to get all caught up on the vlogs, and let's jump into today's vlog and see what's going on. another vlog so we just did a nice grocery haul so we can stock up the fridge I honestly should have gotten way more juice than I got I only got like two things of left charger charging port open how is my charging port open hey, has somebody been messing with my car if you are new here my name is Peyton I call all of my subscribers PayPal's hold on now and all you have to do to become a PayPal is hit the subscribe button. So I would love if you subscribe and become part of the PayPal network. Yeah, I just did a grocery haul um, and picked up a few groceries. I should have got like way more juice than I got. I only got two things of watermelon simply. Honestly, that was all that they had. No, you know what? I got I got blueberry too. Okay, I got three because I usually get three when I go to the grocery store. Something made me feel like I got two. I mean, my thing is, why you even pull up that close to them if you feel you got a bag up? That was just silly. So anyway, now we about to go to the house and unload. Um, And I'm about to make me a new drink. And I think I'm going to go live tonight because I have not done a Tipsy Talk Tuesday live on YouTube in a while. So I think I'm going to do a Tipsy Talk Tuesday live Q&A. Cause I haven't done one in a while so and then after we get off of live then I will go ahead and start editing last week's vlog so it can go up sometime this week because the girls have been in my DMs asking where's the new vlog this is why I don't like commit to a schedule y'all because maybe when I'm in a funk or a slump baby y'all look at this vlog when y'all get it honey I 
Okay, so being that Karen is starting school next semester, I want to make sure that she is making the best financial decisions possible, saving her money, not overspending, and making sure that she is planning for her finances over the course of the year because college can be very expensive. So I downloaded this app called Clio on our phones so it can basically track her spending let her know what bills are coming up that needs to be paid as far as her credit cards and it'll help her stay on top of it because it's an ai powered app that basically talks to you and notifies you of any bills coming up your budget how much you're spending and things like that and it's really fun it even has this little option where you can chat with the ai and it have it roast you so basically it'll tell you you know if you have spent too much on uber eats it's gonna roast you and let you know hey look this is how much you're bringing in as far as your income and this is how much you're spending you're overspending but it's gonna roast you and it's so fun and i feel like this will like take a load off of me having to like boggle down on her and always fuss at her about her spending and things like that which i don't but you know as a mom making sure that your child isn't overspending especially in college it can be a little stressful and I don't want that stress on me and I don't want that stress on her. I think since she's always in her phone anyway and you can turn your notifications on on Clio, it'll just be more interactive for her and fun for her to let her phone let her know, hey, you're overspending, you know what I'm saying? Or um, you need to budget more, you need to save more. Now, I'm not going to lie, when Cleo roasted me. I was very surprised because I feel like I do a bank up job when it comes to spending and financial planning. But I thought that it was super funny. And I think when it comes to teenagers, that's always in their phone and um, always texting and things like that. It's super interactive and fun. You can shoot them notifications. Hey, this bill is due. Hey, you're overspending too much on Uber Eats. Hey, um, you need to save more this month. I love that about the Clio app and it's totally free to sign up. All you have to do is click my link in the description box to download Clio today. And thanks again to Clio for sponsoring today's video. Turn your click up dog. Turn your bitch up dog. My volume. Turn your click up dog. Tiny streets can't cross it. He want the scoop. She want the tea, she want the tea I cannot speak, we keeping it street We keeping it street I took a loss, but you still gon' get beat You still gon' get beat How much it costs, it never been cheap Time for a fucking fabulous baccarat rouge and instant crush. Boy, it's from me. Thank you. Fuck nigga wanna get fine on Start your nigga up, put the iron on him. So I'm getting ready to make some fried cabbage. My famous fried cabbage that I love so much. Hold on. Me and Karen are, are doing our first road trip to Houston. It's going to be our first time in Houston, but we're going to Houston for Cindy's uh, Friendsgiving. She's having a Friendsgiving at her house. And if you know, if you watch Cindy, beautiful, beautiful Cindy here on YouTube, just one of my girls, she be cooking her butt off, baby. So when she invited me, she ain't had to invite me twice. So she was like, did you want to bring anything? Like do a little potluck? And I'm like, okay, I'll make fried cabbage. She doesn't eat pork, so I'm making it with turkey sausage. I'm making it tonight because something tells me to. I, I want to get on the road. It starts at 5, so I want to get on the road by 1 o'clock tomorrow. That means we have to, because we're only going to stay for 24 hours. Um, we we um, need to pack tonight. I need to do her hair. I need to do my hair. <sighs> I feel like I'm just gonna have to get up in the morning and do something, very much something in the morning because I ain't gonna wanna do it all tonight. My back gonna be hurting and I literally was up till, did I go to sleep? I feel like I didn't go to sleep today. My computer updated and when it updated, the version of Final Cut Pro that I had on my computer, which was a license that I bought from someone, no longer worked. 
So after that, I basically had to download a trial version of Final Cut Pro just so I can go ahead and get it going and figure out like what's T on the version that I was using. Baby, the new version of Final Cut Pro don't let you export within the app. Oh my God, when I tell y'all it's a headache and it takes so long. So I was up literally till five o'clock this morning when I realized that this freaking um, software doesn't work anymore for me. So now I'm gonna have to learn DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro. And I'll probably be using DaVinci Resolve until I learn Premiere Pro because Premiere Pro looks really, really difficult. I ain't even gonna lie to you, it look hard. Um, DaVinci Resolve looks like the interface will be a little bit more easier for me to learn and become acclimated because it it will set up the interface based on what you're already used to using. So if you're used to using Final Cut Pro, it will set the interface, plus it's free, it will set the interface up to look like Final Cut Pro's interface. Adobe Premiere looks so freaking hard, y'all. I watched a couple of like videos on it last night and I'm a fast learner. I'm a fast learner, but baby. And then, after I did all this, re-edited the video, because the, the video was already pretty much done. After I re-edited the video, that's when I remember I had, I still have the other, the older version of Final Cut Pro on my laptop. I could have just plugged in my hard drive to my laptop and finished editing and uploaded it. So yeah, I was up all night and all day trying to get a video up today and the sponsor that's on the video hasn't approved it so I don't I don't know I don't, I don't know when it's gonna go live but hopefully it'll go up this weekend because I have a lot of videos to do um, next week and I don't have very much space for you know back-to-back -back videos So I just finished watching the last episode of Love Toxic Blue Therapy. I don't know why they call it blue therapy because I didn't see not one blue light, but I feel like we all need that type of therapy because the PTSD that you gain after a toxic relationship literally leaves scar tissue on the brain. It's no different from hurting yourself when you fall off a bike or falling off a tree or even doing a fucking cartlet wheel like I did when I was in elementary school trying to impress a boy. I broke my leg and after that I was scared as hell to do another cartwheel. It's like that, like you you become afraid to do it again because you don't want to feel that type of pain and that type of hurt. Like, have you ever been love sick? Have you ever felt the pain of being in love with someone that like truly, truly hurt you? Like life is about like peace and happiness and you're dealing with someone that actually makes you cry like gets you to the point where you are emotional where you shed tears if you can't keep those type of people around you can't keep them type of people in your life and the fact that this man has a baby on the way a fourth child on the way and he didn't even uh, disclose if it was from one of his current baby mamas or with a new girl I assume it's possibly with a new girl and whoever it is is that's the person that scratched his car up the week prior um for him to think that their relationship and their love should be able to withstand that type of disrespect is insane it's like sir you don't even want anything contractual with her so it's not through thick and thin it's not till death do us part like she don't have to put up with that you already made clear that if the shoe was on the other foot and she had three kids you wouldn't even be with her you wouldn't mess with her at all this girl don't have no kids body banging gorgeous she has plenty of options i'm sure she actually dumped one of she dumped her good boyfriend that she had for your dog ass and you treating her like this i don't know that was very shocking to see um women in uk going through shit like this child and then the asian man with the with the african girl why he look like my ex spitting li li literally the asian twin to my ex got the same lip same nose same like 
always I always said I feel like my ex was black and Asian. Like he got some tie in him. He don't know it, but deep down somewhere in his gen in his genetic code, his DNA, that man got some tie in him. Okay? He is very much black and Asian. He just don't know it. I done seen a couple of men, Asian men, that look just like my ex. And they even have the same personality because if you watch the show, like the Asian guy is just very narcissistic and dismissive. He don't want to marry her. He I mean, I, I, I don't know, like, to, that show was an eye-opener because you wouldn't think that, I don't know, maybe I'm just being naive, but that show was definitely an eye-opener because it's like, damn, <laughs> men are insane everywhere. They, they truly, truly are. I, I believe the Red Peel Society spreads far and wide. Because the things that that guy said to Marie, the one with the four kids, the things that he said to her, I've I've had, she, my ex talked to me like that. When you're dealing with a man who feels like he is the prize, he is going to always treat you with disrespect and say the most disrespectful things. Because he feels that he has more options than you. He can go out and replace you immediately. He feels that way. And you, on the other hand, not so much. Because I've said this in several vlogs. I feel like when it comes to women and men, most women, the majority of women, we want to be in relationships. Most men, they don't. So it's not as easy to replace a guy that you've been dating for four or five years because you are actually intentionally dating and seeking to be with someone. Whereas the guy, oh yeah, overnight. Literally overnight because his intentions are totally different from yours. And it's not saying that when we date a man we feel like they're irreplaceable. But it is difficult to replace because you just can't get out here and start dating and have that type of chemistry, that type of connection with just anybody. You know what I'm saying? That takes time. You have to build that. And men ain't, they, when they get out here, they not trying to build. You know what they're trying to do. But I feel like Marie is a catch. I think she's a beautiful girl. Um, she has a lot going on for herself and I'm so glad that she stood her ground and stood on business and said what she said and she let him go. She knew that it was going to hurt. Yes, it hurts. I literally just threaded this the other day. Letting go is hard as fuck when you know you don't want to, but if there is no progression, you're not standing on business. You're standing still. And baby, we move. Camera, how many times you gonna watch it, sis? How many times you gonna watch it? All right, road trip has begun, but we can't go anywhere because the BMW is on 6%. So we got to charge up first and charge. I got in it at 18%. I drove around all around Dallas looking for a charger. It won't work. So hopefully this one will work. I'm hungry. You want to go in here and get something to eat while the car on the charger? Or get some snacks? Mm -hmm. Okay, come on. Let us now find us a room. So the navigation was like, you need to charge up. You're gonna run out of battery before you get there. So we like an hour and 30 minutes out 
and I pulled up to electrify and everybody and their mama is on all of them except for one and the one that I pull in on isn't working and won't let me charge my car I don't know why I don't know why but I'm waiting on one of these people to get off so I can get on electrify is pretty fast so while they're doing it I'm gonna wash my car because my car needed a car wash bad Ooh, this car needed a car wash bad one of you in different ways and I'm glad that we have uh, made these relationships in the last year two years however long I've been in Houston I appreciate all of you guys thank you for coming and let's get this shit going <laughs> so cheers, cheers to cheers. everyone cheers. thanks for having us you're yes. welcome Happy thank you. you we're turkey so we just gonna go with it <laughs> The kids go on this. It's yellow. Bar it school bus? Yes. Um, on this, he's history. blue. He eat a lot of snacks. He's cookie monster. Yes. yes. Okay, mm -hmm. go up. Go yeah. down. Uh -huh. Opposite of the sun. In the sky. In the sky. Sunlight. What's opposite, What's of, the opposite sun? of the sun at nighttime? What comes out? Uh, a moon. Yes. Good job. Mm -hmm. Down. It's on TV, has cartoons, cartoons channels, the channel, cartoon channel, slime, teenage, Nickelodeon? Yes. yes. So go down. Don't know this Car one. Pass. 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 Not Dark, vanilla, not dark vanilla, white, but... chocolate. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's up in the sky. It's, a it's red. It's Mars. A candy. Yes. <laughs> no. Skip. It's good. Mm. Nintendo. Switch. But the main uh, game that everybody plays. Mario. Yes. Yeah, I'll do it again. Do it again. We get them a lot in our comments when they're negative. We call them <laughs> trolls. Yes. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> that was a perfect way to put food on this. It's a country in Africa, it's on the ocean. They it's have awesome. great they have bean. great vanilla. Vanilla? Mm-hmm. It's by Tanzania. You know in the ocean? Yeah. Uh, in the <laughs> yes. I'm sad and I'm eating food. Um I'm cutting onions. Yes! <laughs> We are here at the Four Seasons. It's literally, what time is it, Paul? It's 2.33 in the morning. We literally just leaving Cindy House. I moved my wig down because the forehead was foreheading, but we just leaving Cindy House. We had so much fun, y'all. So much fun. We had a girl talk, it gave very much podcast panel. I'm talking about like real healthy conversations. Okay, but here I come. And now I'm about to get in the shower, put my pajamas on, and get in the bed and get me some sleep, hon. But the food was amazing. We had an amazing time. The look was looking, I'm sorry I didn't give y'all an outfit of the day. But I had um this um where did I get this from? I wanna say I got this from H and M, this checkered crop um jacket is Jean. I think it would go perfect with the Louis Vuitton monogram bag, but I don't know. I wouldn't suggest pairing it with it because it gives predictable. I'm not gonna say tacky, it gives predictable. Um, plus I got this a long time ago, so yeah, I might not even be able to find it. But if I if I find the link, I will link it. And then this dress. Oh no, I've worn it before though. And then I wore my Gia Borgini boots with this. So the look was cute. So the look was cute. 
especially with the boots, but right now, yeah. I gotta figure out how to make my bed feel good like this. Cause my bed feel good. I know it would. But not like this. This bed feel like a freaking pillow. Freaking pillow. Yeah, it feel like you're sleeping on a pillow. This feels so good. I'm fit to sleep so good. Me too. I need to reach out to um. Four Seasons Housekeeping and ask them how do they make this bed feel like this? I need to know immediately. I am so in love with this bed. Good morning. There's people by the pool. We got the cabana room. goes out to a private pool but I don't know is it hot outside we ain't bring no swimsuits anyway so whatever we are about to get ready and go to get something to eat to get brunch um we overslept y'all that bed was so doggone comfortable and then I woke up you look cute babe thank you and then I woke up this morning and ma'am was playing dead scared the shit out of me she so she pranked me but I was just trying to wake up, so of course I, I wasn't recording it. But when I tell you, heart wasn't beating, I don't know how the hell she did that. But listen, her, 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 why is she why is she playing with me? My heart almost stopped. Like, you can't play with your mama like that, girl. I'm getting old. Oh, it really really good. It's twenty five percent of concentration is high. This has saffron in it. Ooh, patchouli. Mm -hmm. It really, really good for the sense. And that one has uh, 40% of concentration. Oh, wow. Was created at the very first time, was created for King Hussein of Jordan. Oh, wow. In 1975. Aubrey Hepburn, I mean, Audrey Hepburn wore 19. 19 English Promenade or Fruity. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy it. Three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. All right, that food was good, and I did pick up a candle and some uh, body soap, a bar soap from Krigler. Now that perfume high as hell. I was like, not a that, not thirteen hundred for a bottle of perfume, baby. Uh uh. And the two that I really liked, like. This one on this arm, it's giving me, it's giving me a Lancome scent that I already got at home. And then this one, number six, the one that John F. Kennedy supposedly wears called American 31, it smells exactly like Torino 22 by Zerjoff, which I already have. So it was no point in me buying it and spending, it was 800 for the small bottle and why is that so loud? I mean, if it's that loud over here from where I'm sitting, he can't hear. I bet you, I bet you anything, all day, every day, he does nothing but, huh? What'd you say? Because why is your music so loud on that motorcycle? That is crazy. Child. You guys did me cry laughing. <laughs> But yeah, that perfume was $800 for the 50 milliliter and 100. For the 100 milliliter, it was 1300. I'm like, I mean, it do smell good. I'm pretty sure John F. Kennedy got amazing reviews. But baby, if I want to smell like him, I could just wear Zerja Torino 21, tw Torino 22. Your car right there, mom. Oh, I hope he charged my code. Hey. Did you put it on the charger? 
Yeah, did you put it on the charger? This one? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. I think that that is absolutely crazy that they didn't even bother to charge me up. Like, come on, man. Where did I stay the last time I came to Houston? I think I stayed at the Intercontinental oh, Galleria. Yes, yeah, it's a beautiful horse. They automatically charged me up. I didn't even have to ask. That horse probably tired walking. I mean, can you not tell that this is an electric car or something? Because I'm like... Then he like, is it low? Hell yeah, it's low. You can't see it say 33%. It say a battery right there. Like, it don't even... It don't even say like... E, gas, nothing on the dash. It say literally 33% battery. Like, how do you not know that this is not an electric car and to put it on a charger? And we've been literally here for over 10 hours. So if they had to put me on a level two, which level two charged this car roughly six to eight hours with fully charged. I would have been at a hundred percent. I would have been able to get straight home, but now I gotta stop. Stop, pay the charge, and charge up before I get on the road. It's good, I ain't had nothing to do. This shit costs a lot. Never seen niggas see Drake and they underestimate. Take it from a vet, that's a rookie ass mistake. Ay. It's my fault that you got superpowers on your knees. So, most I ain't got electric trucks. This is my Please follow the directional info on the display and then immediately turn left. This is my second time seeing a Mustang truck. They cute too. So apparently Mustang has electric vehicles. Oh, I just... Wrong fucking side. Shit. Did y'all know that? Mustang got an electric truck. And it's cute. You had you a good little nap, sister girl? Yeah. 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 Turn left at the end of the road onto US 190 and then turn left. Me and all my niggas doing well, doing well, dawg. You not from the city, I can tell, I can tell, dawg. Why you gotta fight with me at Cheesecake? You know I love to go there. Say I'm making light skin, I can't take you nowhere. Dropped out of school, now we dumb rich. This sound like some 4301 shit. Okay, we are back at the house. I was cute on the road. So I ended up putting these hands to use it was cute i got, I got on my skims fits everybody t with the skims fits everybody bra and the skims fits everybody panties and it literally matches these pants perfectly and they were so comfortable and i just put on my air force ones with them with my ghost face killer socks yeah this was so cute and i am loving my lob flat iron but i'm gonna i'm gonna curl it again but i'm i'm actually like really liking it with this um layered look flat iron Miss girl. All right, finally home. I just lit this candle. I bought another one. I've been talking about this candle in my most recent vlogs. This is the Roja London perfumed candle, y'all. This candle smells so doggone good. It has amber in it and it's, this is the holiday edition. It's perfect for the fall and winter season. It smells so good. So I went to Scent Room and bought another one um, when I went to surprise 
one of my PayPal's. He was in town. He did not know that I was coming. Vegas told me that I had some PayPal's in town. And she was like, you should come surprise him. So I threw on some clothes really quick. I mean, it was so unplanned because I was still in my bed and my pajamas. But while I was up there, I did pick up another one of these counters because I saw they had like two left. Y'all, you can only get this in the United States. You can only get this counter at the St. Rome. Otherwise, you have to order it online from like Harrods. Um... Oh, and it smells so good. But I'm just sitting here watching the mommy on LG channels on my little LG TV. I was trying to watch it in the living room, but for some reason it's not working on my TV in the living room. So I'm just like, it just made me a little, little palette situation right here on my little shed, child. That drive back was, oh, I won't complain, but I really wish that the four seasons would have charged my car because i stopped twice to charge my car not that i had to i feel like if i had have just waited and charged my car and made it got it to 100 percent in houston i could have got home on a 100 percent charge like from houston to dallas but considering that i was riding with karen it was going to be nighttime i definitely didn't want to be stranded on the side of the road just in case we didn't uh we like ran out of charge and like couldn't make it to a charger i was just being considerate of the the situation and the you know what i'm saying the environment uh otherwise i would have tried to you know make it on 100 percent charge but yeah it was a pretty it was an eventful road trip it really was because of the stops so next time i will be sure to charge my car fully before i leave and um yeah there are so many electric vehicles out there now y'all like the last time i took a road trip to houston it was no one when i say it was no one every time i stopped to charge my car it was no one else charging their car now Oh my God, like I saw a Hyundai, is it Hyundai or Hyundai? I saw a Hyundai, I saw um, a Taycan, which I was actually considering driving my Taycan to Houston, but I was like, no, mm, no, I don't wanna miss, mm, no. So the BMW is the road trip car. It is the designated road trip car, but I saw some like Mustang trucks. I didn't even know they had like a Ford Mustang truck and it's nice. That, that motherfucker nice i said i was like when the guy was sitting in his car charging it i was like this oh in his car looking in like it's really really nice and then i saw i saw a few different evs on it like electrify on the electrify chargers it was a lot of different evs yeah me and no my yeah me Hey you guys, so today is Tuesday. We're getting ready for Tipsy Talk Tuesday at 7 p.m. tonight. I'm about to, I'm just stuffing me a Mike Tyson cone. And then um, I am going to go and take the thumbnail picture because I like to have custom thumbnail pictures for my lives. I don't like when YouTube makes the thumbnail, it don't look good. So I'm gonna go take a thumbnail picture. So I just put my hair in this ponytail because I had a time last night and yeah, my hair, mm -mm, it don't look good no more. So I just put these little curls in the front. I wanted to do like an updo, but the, the lob ain't long enough. So we just did this little situation here. So yeah, we getting ready to do a tipsy talk live in reaction i think i also want to do like a networking um virtual event tonight too where i pick out like maybe five um creators that are on the live and watching the live and shout them out and basically give like a quick um analysis of their channel because a lot of people have been reaching out to me to consult them on the side and I did kind of announce that I do that on the side but I don't do it for monetary gain it's mostly when I have time and a creator that's pretty much already established right so I, I can't really help with channel building 
um but like if you already have a lot of videos up you got you know your stride um you kind of like stuck as far as like where to go with your content different niches to try maybe you want you need like some direction on how to do your thumbnails or titles tags stuff like that i feel like i can kind of guide you um and do that but it's only on a case by case basis because i am so busy y'all i know when y'all see me in my videos it don't look like i'm that busy because i'm always watching tv but your girl be busy. I just find time to do the things that I love. And watching TV is one of the things that I love. As well as reading. So, yeah. Um, it's not something that I'm open to do for like a lot of people. Just because I don't have the time. Doing these businesses that I started is very time consuming. Especially like the fragrance part. I'm literally at my computer all night. Because china the time difference with china i'm literally at my computer from like two o'clock in the morning to sometimes six o'clock in the morning talking to suppliers and oh my god i just turned this heat up way too high sheesh i don't need no pill to speak my mind i don't need that i make people pay me for my time yeah i need that you know that i don't play streets not safe but i never run away even when i'm away Oh, good morning. Mm. And this is good, but I think I put too much cream in it. It's sweet as hell. But that peppermint mocha definitely set it off. It's a nice festive uh, coffee drink that you can make right from home. I was just watching Aaliyah's story and she was um, um, talking about trying different coffee shops because she no longer supports um, Starbucks. And I didn't even know about that. I didn't know. I didn't know all of that was going on with Starbucks and McDonald's. I'm kind of. I'd be out of the loop on certain things and certain current events, um, like gossip and like super controversial topics. I really like kind of stay up on a know with like stock markets, wealth, money, what's going on with the banks and stuff like that. But I. I mean, I've heard about what's going on in the world, but I don't like stay up, you know, stay up on it. And then I don't follow any gossip blogs on Instagram. And whenever they pop up on my YouTube recommended page, I basically click um, and let YouTube know not to recommend that channel to me anymore. I love that about YouTube. Because when I tell you they won't anymore, even when you resubscribe to, to to the channel, like they won't. They will not recommend the, the channel anymore. I am so sore, y'all. I am so sore. And this morning I woke up and I literally couldn't open my eyes. I felt like I had went to a party last night. We had a ball on live last night and it was definitely a tipsy talk okay because i had had a smoke session before the live started i had made a very strong rich chocolate espresso martini it was very very strong and try at the end of that vlog when i went back to like i i would have had to edit that vlog anyway because it was some it was a it had got hit for a copyright i don't know why because I was watching a vlog that had no copyright on it. It's so freaking weird. But I had to edit it anyway. So we would have lost the live. Because as soon as you edit a live. The live. I mean we would have lost the live chat anyway. As soon as you edit a live. The live chat option disappears. So you can't go back and read the live chat. I did read um, most of it before it lost it. Because I. One thing about YouTube, it do not take them long to, to edit out and trim uh, a live video. 
I, I, don't, I don't know I don't know why it's, it doesn't take that long but I mean before I was finished watching the entire live like maybe an hour into it because it was a four hour live I cut it down to two hours and 50 minutes so I cut out a lot of it there was one part where I was talking about the guy that I used today and I didn't want that to be misconstrued as me saying I should have stayed with him and stayed um, dating him because of what he had um you know because i you know i basically talk about you know his car and he had corn and i had been drinking y'all so i stutter and you know i i i i, I say things without providing additional context how i i should have said i should have kept dating him because of how he treated me and he was just extremely established as a businessman and a person i could have learned a lot from him so I had to go back and speak on that part because a lot of people like to uh, I'm a very misunderstood person and a lot of people like to take things that I say and spend them to make me seem like a bad person and look like a bad person and I'm not a bad person I would never date someone because of what they have because I definitely wasn't you know trying to use him I've been talking about it in the video how I feel like I really liked him but I think that he started to become inconsistent after, you know, he basically got what he wanted after the, and I was very transparent in it. I can't believe I was so transparent in that vlog. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not that transparent anymore. I'm definitely not. It's just not a safe space for, to be, to be that transparent anymore, but wow. It was definitely fun looking back on that vlog, but we did lose the live chat but everybody that was in the live i appreciate y'all we're gonna do another one next tuesday and i did announce that i'm not doing vlogmas on that live i just i don't know i just i'm not in the mood to daily vlog right now i, I got so much going on i'm just not in the mood to, to do it y'all i'm in front of my computer trying to like get these businesses off the ground so much that i'm really not picking up the camera as much lately not to say that i won't be and i'm about to stop vlogging this not happening i'm still gonna be doing my living in dallas and weekly vlogs um but i'm not doing daily vlogging for for vlogmas but we are gonna have the tipsy talk tuesdays every tuesday during vlogmas and we are going to be reacting to old vlogmas videos so i feel like um I feel like that kind of, that kind of balances it out. But yeah, we got some new stuff from Twisted Lily. I want to thank Twisted Lily for sending over these packages and these items and this, these fragrances. So I'm about to do a first impression. Um, I got a new Zerjoff, y'all. I'm so excited about it. I got a new Zerjoff. Zerjoff packaging is so inspirational. Jeez. Oh, this sounds like a gourmand. In collaboration with guitarist Tony Iommi of legendary rock group Black Sabbath, this is the first multi-sensory interaction between perfume and music coming together in an unexpected and uniquely modern dark and gothic notes of scent. All right, the packaging. I was just about to say, where my bottle at? You have to unwrap it. Oh, the bottle is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, the bottle is gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna spray it on this first because I might not like it. This remind me of something. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, you know what this reminds me of? Calvin Klein Euphoria. The notes are completely different in Calvin Klein Euphoria. But this is what it reminds me of. I like it. And then next we have Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume Super Dose. So I want to say not a perfume is a scent as well. I don't have that and I've never smelled it. Um, but I did pick this up in Superdose. 
in the fragrance and then I also got a laundry detergent in the not a perfume so I'm hoping that I really like this scent because I got it in a laundry detergent and I've never smelled it I smell it on the box and I'm hoping it don't smell like this okay this is the box that's how the perfume comes inside tripping or does this smell like another 13 okay so it says always looking for innovative ways to shake the perfume Marie's world we came with an intense version of not a perfume so this is not a perfume super dose with one not a note in its Seda locks this smells very very similar to Le Labo's another 13 well because this smells like another 13 I already know that I'm going to love the laundry detergent and today is laundry day i got a lot to do so yeah we definitely could use this in today's laundry so it's similar to another 13 but not exactly it does do a little different but it's very fresh and crispy it's all year round unisex one note fragrance it's, it's crazy but thanks again to twisted lily for always partnering with me and sending over me fabulous fragrances to keep me smelling good and getting those compliments you guys know that you can use my coupon code peyton10 for 10 percent off and i will also leave the link to my landing page so you guys can check out some of my favorites no phone no tv right now i need you to clean your room and make sure make sure you put all them clothes up in the, in the closet and hang them up like i asked you to right okay let's go do that we having a cleaning day Same. It's the same. Why you say it like that? You, did you see how everybody believed that Snoop Dogg had stopped smoking? I was like, get out of town. I don't know why they believe that. Get out of town. I don't know why people believe that. I ain't gonna lie. When I heard it though, it, it gave me pause. Like, wait, okay, so what's going on with the ganja? Because if he stopped smoking, something ain't right. Nah, I don't think Snoop gonna I don't think Snoop gonna do that by himself. That's something that it'd be like. I feel like him and some top smokers would come together and be like, hey. Why does the young pot mo get clean? That's why. I seen that say he ain't. But I don't believe that anyway, so it's really not a bad Would you stop smoking? Four. Four. What if you met a what if you met a girl? Uh-huh. Who's your lighter? Where's my lighter? Please. What if I met a girl? Hold on. What if you met a girl? Yeah. Damn. Pete, my nigga, we cool. We just be shooting the shit all the time. girl and you really really liked her and she y'all fell in love and she didn't smoke but she 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 acted like she was cool with it because you know how sometimes girls be charming like that and we be mm -hmm. acting like we cool with shit but we really ain't mm -hmm. and then y'all fell in love and she was like i really think you should stop smoking mm -hmm. my uh granddaddy uh smoked and died of lung cancer and really mean a lot to me da 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 da, da. would you stop 
No. Dang. So you probably let her go. No, she let herself go. Her granddaddy passed is not my path. And secondly, she could have just kept it back with me up front. And just be like, I'm cool with you smoking, but eventually I want you to quit. I'm hoping you'll quit. And that'll give me the option to be like, you know what, if she gonna say something seven years down the line, seven months, seven weeks, but not just to pop up like, it's like, ah, that ain't fair. You know what I mean? So what if she, what if, what, would you still keep dealing with it if she did then? If she was like, you know what, I really, really like you, but I hope eventually, like down the line, you'll stop smoking. You'll keep messing with her? Yes. Because you already know eventually down the line, she ain't gonna make it any damn way. No, it's not that. It's that, it's just like she, eventually down the line, I might can't smoke for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? Like. I might get in a position where I got, it's, it's some money somewhere where I can't smoke. And then like, of course I'm gonna choose the money cause we gotta take care of a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But, opportunity, as long as I have the opportunities I can still smoke, I probably will. I can't see myself like giving up like the coolest pastime that's ever been presented. Could you give us smoking if something was like, I don't like girls that smoke. Oh, them folks hidden. Let me see that real quick. Oh, I got some J's that mess them. We can go hang out. You can just put your nails like, you can do it like that. Like that. Like, uh, do it again. <laughs> nah, like what? Okay, bow legged. I'm not bow legged. I'm bow legged in a motherfucker juice. Emma, I'm pigeon toed and slightly. That's just a basketball guy's walk. Like, all basketball guys kind of like walk like that. Like, Stand I'm back. A, Stand back. I've been playing sports for a while. That's when you was going live, and I was like, let me tap in. She said she writing something. Or she thinking about writing something. What is she talking about? And it sounds pretty fucking interesting. So that's what got my attention. If I write this screenplay, this shit's gonna be off the chain because I, I really want to sell it, sell it to Netflix and it become a series because nothing I do, nothing I do is really just a movie. Like, it's, it, it's be too much, much context to, like, compress that down to like <coughs> an hour and 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna have to be a series. It's gonna have to be a series. So, write a series then. I, I, I saw some uh, screenplay software online that I could buy that would help me like format it and stuff like that. So I'm thinking of finding a screenwriting and a screenplay course, taking the course. So I just be up on the note because like, I, you know, I ain't been to school in a while. So. I didn't oh. talk about that on live though. For real? Mm -hmm. What was people saying? I don't know. I I wasn't able to read out of the live because I was talking and watching, reacting to a vlog. But it was a vlog that you was in. I reacted to a vlog that you was in. I reacted to a vlog that Anthony was in and that you was in. It's a, it's the chemistry. And then like, you're a very beautiful woman, so my man wouldn't. So, I mean, people put two and two together, but they, they doing like two and two together, they, they doing like girl mad, boy mad, human mad. Sometimes one plus one don't equal two. But sometimes it does. It definitely does. Most times it does. Most times it does. It's a different type of case we're dealing with over here. <laughs> oh, I love you. You came in my live today and said, you love me forever. I do. I do. 
you came in, you opened my eyes to something real quick, boom. And I was like, okay. What'd you say? I said, well, I met you, you opened my eyes to something real quick, bet. Cool. What was it? You're smart. Like you was telling me shit that I didn't know. And then like you was telling me shit that I didn't know. But the way you think that wasn't always facts, it could be it could be a fact. It could make you want. So it's like, uh, yeah, okay, I get where you coming from. Yeah. And I just get a chance to listen. All the time. Do you think I'm weird? No. I don't hope nobody think you weird. I wouldn't care. They're not in my life. But you are. So you would care if I thought you was weird? Mm hmm I want to understand why. Why weird and not eccentric? Well, I don't think you weird. I think, do I think you eccentric? Eccentric for me is more like Eric. Did you pocket, Eric. did you pocket my mood lighter? While ago? Yeah. I almost got you. Where is my mood lighter? No, it was. I don't have no light, I thought you were talking about that one. No, nah, it was another red lighter. No, that's the one we've been using. Uh oh. Look, I need water. It was another red lighter. You want to pat me down? Do you want... Nico. Oh, shit. <laughs> See? You can't even <laughs> fucking help it. <laughs> that's so embarrassing, but that's, <laughs> that's totally me. I can't even be mad at it. That's totally me, you know what I mean? You I, was it. I don't even remember using this lighter. You gonna have to run this back. When you go back to run this back, you gonna see me pick this up and read it. I don't even remember using that lighter. That's why I was like, check me. Otherwise, I'd have been. Okay. And you were so confident. Yeah, I get in there. You got me. That's what you did. There go 12. You got me. Okay. So I've been watching my old vlogs, um, doing reaction videos, watching my old vlogs live with y'all. So we go live and we react to some old vlogs. And in every vlog I've watched, I be playing Money Man. And I ain't listened to Money Man probably since I started vlogging that first 2020. I probably ain't listened to Money Man since 2020. And I, I, you know what? I feel like Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. Today Thanksgiving. I'm he actually headed to the grocery store to get everything that I'm <laughs> I'm headed to the grocery store to get everything I'm gonna cook today because I'm dead last minute but you know what I it might be a it might be a Pisces thing because Miss Jamima she a Pisces and she just went to the grocery store to pick up her Thanksgiving food today too I'm just saying like I really don't want my refrigerator cluttered with stuff for Thanksgiving I want it to be fresh because I'm gonna cook it the day of a lot of people like to cook it the day before but one I don't like to have to heat up everything the day of Thanksgiving I want it to be fresh I could get fresh so we about to head to Kroger's and I'm wearing my tray C um uh set this is a this is actually a set that one of the PayPal sent me when I first started vlogging so I got this in a PR package in 2020 and I still have it I still wear it y'all do it's a jogger set it's like a zip up um hoodie and the sweatpants the sweatpants fit real good too baby the, the wagon be dragging in this in these sweatpants stop playing with me it'd be funny it'd be funny going back watching my old vlogs so a lot of y'all been sending me um comments about watching the lizard vlog and reacting to that vlog so i guess next tuesday next tuesday we'll watch that vlog and then um we'll watch two vlogs we'll do two vlogs 
um, and that'll be the end of this month and then next December we because I'm not doing vlogmas um, we'll react to some vlogmas vlogs like my first ever vlogmas vlogs oh shoot I wish y'all could like just step in my body for a real quick second like a good 10 seconds right now and feel what I'm feeling if y'all felt the cramps that I'd be like, oh, oh my God, cramps so bad. If y'all felt them, cause I, I know for a fact that they not that bad. But when I say I don't like feeling absolutely no pain, if I'm not feeling like my regular self, I'm gonna be dramatic. I'm gonna be dramatic. But I know if another girl was feeling what I'm feeling, she probably would be like, nah, I ain't even got cramps right now, but I feel it. But well, the ibuprofen is definitely working. You need to kick it in a little faster. I don't know that much. They did not have. All right, so unfortunately, we still have to go to Tom Thumb, and I hope Tom Thumb has some smoked turkey legs. Because I want to say the ones that I had in the freezer i thawed out and i cooked that time the last time i made collard greens and turkey legs so i feel like i'm gonna be all over dallas looking for smoked turkey legs today because i should have been went to the grocery store but i got everything i needed with the exception of ground cinnamon um from kroger's so we just gotta pop over the tom thumb real quick and then we're gonna go to the house relax for a spell and then um start cooking it's 322 now all right back at the house what is on the menu we're making chicken and dressing Spaghetti, black people spaghetti, candy yams, macaroni and cheese, collard greens and turkey mix, ham, my cousin's bringing potato salad, and I bought a store-bought sweet potato pie. It says Jessie's, and it's spelled literally just like my grandma spells her name, J-E-S-S-I-E. So, hopefully it tastes pretty close to how she used to cook it, cause, you know, I, I, don't, I don't make sweet potato pie, I barely even eat it, but this whole Thanksgiving dinner is in honor of her. So I'm making the things that she would particularly make if she was still here. Did I say ham? I got a, a, a ham too. I have never, I have, when I tell y'all, I have never had, I have never cooked a ham. I have never cooked a ham. Mm -hmm. Karen, you are hilarious. What? What, mom? You are hilarious. All they huffing and puffing just from bringing up a, a, a case of water. You funny as hell, girl. Happy Thanksgiving, Mom. Happy Thanksgiving, baby. Uh. OMG, you brought my high school to play? Yes! Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Same to you. Yes. You made it all possible. Yes, God. Yes. Uh. Now, Tanya moved to Dallas. She is officially. I'm officially here. She officially here. I did it. That's what you call stepping out on faith. Yes, indeed. When faith moves, it moves. And the best part about it is as long as you have a wonderful support system, you can do it. Faith is forsaking all. I trust him. Turn.
on every little bit. I ain't never seen a drip like this. Heaven at my fingertips. Let's not let a minute slip to say you. Saying like it was a sample or something. I can't I ain't even look at it, I just opened it up. You can't put your boot in the camera. Well, can I put it on this kid in the camera? Oh, I thought that's why you put that angle right there. No, it's a production. You get all different angles. Why are we yeah. talking? I'm going to chop it up in the conversation, but it's going to be different angles like it's a camera cool in here. Well, like you said, they're not trying to catch me purring. They did. No. Okay. Didn't they tell you that I was savage? Jersey! 